2020 has been a year of incredible loss. In January, the world stood still when news broke that basketball legend Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna had been killed along with seven other people in a helicopter crash. Then, in August, the tragic news of the unexpected death of Black Panther actor Chadwick Boseman broke. While Boseman and Bryant weren't known as collaborators in life, a story that Boseman shared after Bryant's death has shined a light on what could have been a game-changing partnership between the two men. The recollection came during an episode of HBO's roundtable discussion show The Shop Uninterrupted. During a wide-ranging conversation with fellow icons such as Tiffany Haddish and NFL quarterback Patrick Mahomes, Bozeman touched on his relationship with the late basketball star, saying, I had like four conversations with him. He's not somebody that I was best friends with. But the crazy thing is that in those four conversations, when he passed, it felt like somebody that I knew. Bozeman also shared some details about one of those conversations he had with Bryant in the years before his death. In the wake of Bozeman's own untimely passing, that particular conversation now has a deeper and more haunting significance. Bozeman closed out the show with a story about his powerful first encounter with a legendary basketball player, which appears to have occurred during the 2018 award season. Referring to Bryant's Oscar win for Best Animated Short Film for Dear Basketball, Bozeman said, First time I saw him was before he won the Oscar. It was crazy because we were sitting at a party talking about philosophers and poetry and like, that's who he was. He was like, you know, this is what I'm into right now as, a, as, a, as an artist, not, not as a basketball player. That was when Bozeman proposed that they work on a project together. What Bryant said in response now has an eerie context. According to Bozeman, Bryant was interested in the idea of a collaboration, but then grew introspective. As Bozeman put it, it was, quote, like he was meditating, like he was seeing it. And he looked up at me, he said, two years. He, it's like he saw the whole thing. Oh, fool. Sadly, that collaboration never came to be. Both Bryant and Bozeman passed away in 2020, which would have been about two years after their initial conversation. Although Bryant is primarily remembered for his basketball career, his Oscar win was the beginning of a new phase for the Black Mamba as a powerhouse in the world of business and entertainment. But I, I've always, throughout my career, I've always just wanted to do the best that I could. In 2014, he started his own company, which, among other projects, co-produced Dear Basketball. In a statement to ESPN at the time the company launched, he said, I have always had ideas and always had a vision of where I wanted to go going back to 2000. Now, once the Achilles injury took place, I'm sitting at home for months not moving. A couple things set in. One is that there are only so many Modern Family episodes a person can watch. And then two, what do I do now? The company's first big project was an investment in the sports drink body armor, but his creativity wasn't simply relegated to his business dealings. In that same ESPN interview, Bryant revealed that he was working on a few other creative projects, including a series of novels. He said, I wake up in the morning, I can't wait to write. I can't wait to get to the studio. I love telling stories. I love, you know, inspiring kids or providing them with tools that are going to help them. This side of Bryant was clearly not lost in Bozeman. After Bryant's death, Bozeman tweeted a touching photo tribute with a caption that described him as, Husband, father, strategist, philosopher, poet, warrior, athlete, filmmaker. Your focus is magnetic, Kobe. At the end of his story about his possible collaboration with Bryant on the shop, Chadwick hinted that the conversation strengthened his admiration for the basketball legend. And I said to my fiance, I said, yo, he is who they say he is.